Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash your transmission with XHP. All right, let's get to it. All right, so if you have an F90 M5 like me, you want to make sure first you buy your licenses. So this is like the second time I've tried to do this video. The first time I did uh, download the app, I went ahead and tried to flash in my car, and then they asked to verify my identity before they would release the license codes. So I'll be putting up what they actually sent me right here on the screen so you guys can see it. So you don't want to run into what I did, so you'd be disappointed and you can't flash your car yet. So go ahead and buy the licenses first. Make sure you get your product codes before you attempt to actually go in your car and flash it, all right? And then also, another thing that I did was, because my car is an F90, so I chose like the regular eight-speed transmission when I was choosing my flash options and buying a license. So they consider this car, the F90, still a G-Series because it's one that sent anything from 2017 on. For them, it's considered G-Series, even though my car has an F90 chassis designation. So if you have an F90 M5, you got to choose G-Series, not the regular 8-speed, all right? So these are just things that I went through and I want to share with you guys so you don't make the same mistakes I did, all right? All right, so now I am sharing my screen here. So I want to show you guys exactly what the interface looks like. So right now it shows up my car information. And if you click the three dots over here, you got some options over here, all right? So I already have, so one thing you're gonna also need is an E-Net to Lightning adapter if you're gonna connect it to your phone. I have an iPhone, so I have, so mine's an E-Net to Lightning or you gotta get the correct adapter for your phone. I will be linking one of these down below. You can get them from Amazon all day, super cheap, super simple, all right? So after it's connected to the phone, we'll go in and hit connect. Then it's actually choose your transmission. This is a ZF eight speed searching for adapter all right you'll see some lights come on and automatically throws in the diagnostic mode in case you don't have your car in diagnostic mode so that's pretty good loading vehicle has everything there let me go ahead and throw this and do not disturb so you guys don't see any random messages pop up so now it shows up all your engine information all your car information here your vin engine power all the equipment that's on your car m carbon ceramic package m drivers package all that everything you have in your car is going to show you right here all right so now what you want to do, since I've already bought my licenses, I'm going to hit the flash license, which is right here. And then it's going to ask me why I like the pace for Safari. Yes. All right. Because when you buy it, it automatically sends you an email where you can um, go ahead and get your license. And then you basically just copy that and then it'll pull it up here. So now it's uh, pulling everything up. Boom, flash license, map pack. All right, so, so it says, in order to flash OTF's maps, we need to download some files. So I wanna go ahead and download those files now. So we'll hit yes, waiting for OTS map bundle. So I did get the uh, flash maps as well as the flash package as well because I want to be able to flash between different ones I think they have a stage one and a stage three for this car if I remember correctly so I just went ahead and got that so I don't have to worry about anything you have successfully redeemed your flash license voucher you are now able to flash your vehicle cool so I'm just gonna click on flash license here just to make sure there's not anything else left in here all right so it says everything's good there so let's go to map pack you have successfully redeemed your map pack voucher you are now able to flash all right, so everything is good there. So now we are good to go. All right, so it looks like, I guess in order to flash, I need to hit this, uh, I need to hit this flash icon down at the bottom. So it says flash. All right, so it looks like right here, they have a stage one, a stage three. They do have a backup, which I've already recorded a backup and they have flash settings. So let's go into flash settings. So they have drag race mode, torque reduction on upshifts, custom launch control in case you want to get into there ship map editor so you let's click on that and see how it works below you will find four different presets for relax and sportive to easily alter the shift points of your transmission relax plus gives you a low comfortable shift points whereas sport plus sustains sustainability raises the shift points and therefore creates more responsive driving experience you can also edit any preset so you can um so let's see Drive, I'll just leave it in neutral. If I want it, if I got it in sport, I want it in sportive. Raises the shift points, therefore creates more responsive driving experience. If I got it in sport, I want it to be sporty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right there. Um, they have max RPM. Using this panel 
select your wide open throttle shift points for each gear. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, take off and second gear is standard. I'm not going to mess with that. Blips throttle. Throttle blips. I use the rev match the engine and downshift. The panel lets you set up the aggression. High values lean more. I don't think I need actual throttle, throttle blips. I mean, it's, so I think I'll be fine there. They have a gear display. You can toggle the gear display in drive mode. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Torque limits per gear. You can set up your torque limits per gear. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Kick down, delete, you can delete that. Switch off sport mode and cruise. Auto start stop, I've already coded off auto start stop, so I don't have to mess with that. Um, torque reduction up shifts. You can reduce the torque. They have like a drag race mode. I don't necessarily need that. Um, let's see. Soft ships in sport mode. Who would want that? Activate line pressure bump so you can update the line pressure. Stop and go valet mode. Okay, so this is pretty interesting stuff there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see. Let's see. So M5 competition sedan stage one. It just removes the torque limiters from the transmission. That's all it does. So, hmm. And then stage three removes torque limiters. Raise launch control shift targets, more aggressive shifting overall. Raise possible max RPMs, but you have to do it in your tune. Um, raise line pressure. So this is what I'm looking for right here. This is what I'm looking for right here. So do you want to apply flash, apply for custom flash settings? Yes. We'll do version 1.2. You're about to flash your vehicle. Just take around two minutes. All right, so let's get to it. Driver seat belt is on. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna come back. So drivetrain malfunction just popped up, but that's just part of the flashing process. So it's preparing, it's doing what it's gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, come back when it's done. It's actually, hold on, hold on. It's actually moving really fast. They said two minutes. But it's moving really fast. I guess that first flash, because I've already got it out of the way. It's moving really fast right here. So let's see. Wow, that was quick. Super quick. All right, it says flash. Finished successfully. All right, show summary. M3 competition sedan stage three version 1.2. Custom flash settings took 43 seconds. Remove torque limiters, raise launch control, shift targets, more aggressive shifting overall. Boom, 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 boom. All right. map editor gear display all right so looks like we're good to go